Joining me now to talk about his dynamic role on the hit series, The Chosen, is actor Jordan Walker Ross. Hello, Jordan. It's Hello. so nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. Thanks oh, for coming. Thank you so much for being with us today. We're so excited to chat with you here. Now, your character, Little James, mm. tell us a little bit more about it. So, little James, uh, like myself, has a disability. Uh -huh. uh, I have cerebral palsy and scoliosis, mm. and Dallas Jenkins, the creator of the show, when he noticed that in my audition, decided mm. to embrace that and make that part of my character, mm. which was really scary at first because mm -hmm. it was something that, you know, from being bullied in high school and then having uh, casting directors comment negatively on my limp. Mm. Uh, it was something that I always felt insecure about and really uh, ashamed of, embarrassed of. You know, I felt like I had been given this this passion and, and this gift for acting, mm. but I was also given a curse that would prevent me from ever seeing my full potential. Mm. Um, but then Dallas Jenkins and The Chosen came along and, and proved otherwise because once they embraced that and made it part of the character, yeah not only did it add a whole new layer to Little James and, and add this uh, depth to, to the character, but it allowed me to kind of be more introspective and, and learn to love myself a little bit more mm. and to uh, stop seeing my limp as a weakness. And, you know, I, I came to the realization that just because I'm different doesn't mean I'm broken. Mm. And uh, hopefully that's what Little James is, is doing for, for others. I think he certainly is. It's such an important uh, piece to his character and piece to who you are as an actor, what you're bringing to the table. I'd imagine it was quite vulnerable for you at times to yeah. embrace what has been a struggle for you within this character and then present it to viewers. Yeah. Well, I think one interesting thing uh, about playing Little James on The Chosen is that the the relationship between faith and healing is is so mm. uh, interesting because depending on what you know uh, sect of of Christianity you're in or really what religion you're in in general there, there's so many different frames of thought or, or opinions on what healing what role healing should play in faith and you know I've had people suggest that you know I haven't been healed because I don't have enough faith or you know mm. things like mm -hmm. that. And I think that can be a really damaging mindset, uh, especially to people within the disabled community. Because mm -hmm. uh, as I had mentioned, just because you're different doesn't mean you're broken. And sometimes the thing you perceive as your, your greatest weakness can be your greatest strength. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, little James has, has shown me that. And I hope that other people are, are getting that as well, because I think it's important because not everyone gets healed in the way that maybe they think they need to be. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, yeah, I think it's it's a really, really important and powerful message. It really is. And you know, what I love about uh, The Chosen is how boldly it goes there. Yeah. You know, there's a scene where you're asked, like, why are you not healed? And that's directly put towards you. Yeah. Uh, which is a really hard question when you're struggling with a health issue and you yeah. see other people being healed around you. Right. It, it, it's you know, this season and season three of The Chosen, we continue on little James's journey of, mm. you know, his, his res, like the resentment and the bitterness is starting to bubble up a little more. Mm -hmm. The frustration, mm -hmm. uh, comparing himself to others, which mm -hmm. is something we can all relate to. Yeah. Uh, and he has a literal come to Jesus meeting where he gets to confront him and say, you know, why aren't you healing me? Why are you healing these, these strangers that you don't even know, but you're not healing me? And uh, it's, you know, I, I think going to be a really powerful moment, not only for myself, but for the audience, because in my opinion, the best art, but specifically the best faith-based art challenges mm -hmm. the viewer mm -hmm. and isn't afraid to ask the difficult questions. A lot of faith-based art, um, you know, can sometimes be, uh, you know, feel good, which, which is great. Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, in order to make a true impact and a true difference and reach an audience that uh, goes further than that particular faith but can be a universal message, mm -hmm. I think you need to ask those difficult questions mm -hmm. and, and uh, not be afraid of, of 
those topics. And I'm so proud that The Chosen uh, mm -hmm. is brave enough to go there. And those topics speak to the human experience. It's the truth yeah. of what we're all going through. And it is what the people around Jesus were encountering. That was life. Right. Some were being healed, some weren't. You know, Dallas Jenkins, the creator of The Chosen, has said one of the things he's most excited about this season is the development of your character. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, he, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, it's one of the things I'm most excited about as well <laughs> is, is little James's journey because, uh, you know, as an actor, you always, you want those roles that challenge you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I enjoy playing roles that are very different from who I am. That's mm -hmm. one of the things that drew me to acting is getting to, you know, get into someone else's skin and understand why people think the way they do and do the things that they do. But with little James, it's a, a different experience because it's, while there are differences and I get to do this accent and all of, you know, that fun stuff, he's still very close to who I am personally. Mm -hmm. And his, his journey is very similar to my own. So playing little James is more cathartic and therapeutic than any other role that I've ever played because mm -hmm. I get to voice some of my own uh, frustrations and uh, feelings that I've had in the past. And it, it's like little James is just a few steps behind me in, in his journey. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm getting, it, it's forcing me to be more introspective than mm -hmm. I I have uh, had to be for other roles, which is really, really exciting. Would you say being in this role is building out your spiritual life? Are you having a new understanding of Jesus as you do this role? Or, <clears throat> you know, are you having spiritual, I guess, yeah. realizations and development? Yeah. Because you're being exposed to so much, right. such deep spirituality. I think, yeah, the, the thing about The Chosen is it, it's hard not to have a profound uh, experience whenever you're on set. You're acting with... Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus, mm -hmm. when he's in Jesus mode, um, it, it's a, a surreal uh, mm -hmm. thing to watch, you know, even on screen, but like especially in person mm -hmm. when he gives you the Jesus eyes. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a powerful, a powerful thing. And, you know, getting to see, I think the, the chosen, the, the thing that makes Jesus on this show so different and stand out mm -hmm. is the humor and the, the humanness of him. Mm -hmm. It's not... Uh, you know, he, he doesn't feel like this untouchable deity. He, mm -hmm. He's much more accessible on The Chosen. And I think that that's what has allowed so many people to connect to it on a deeper level. Um, and not just audience, but all of us in the cast and crew as well. It's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it's so special. Mm -hmm. And tell me about, you know, you're talking about the scenes and as you encounter uh, Jonathan playing Jesus, tell me about some of the um, most exciting scenes coming up for season three that have stuck out to you personally? Yeah. I think, um, you know, for season three, there's there's so many exciting uh, plot lines and, and scenes that have happened. Uh, the honeymoon phase is, is over for a lot of the apostles hmm. in season three. You know, for the first couple of seasons, there's all of this excitement. You know, there's this new thing that they're doing, this new adventure they're going on. Uh, but now the reality is starting to sink in. Mm -hmm. And for little James in particular, you know, he he is seeing these other people being healed when he isn't. So that's something I'm really excited to explore. Mm -hmm. um, and for people to see, I think it's going to challenge people. Um, and then I also, you know, the scale of season three is mm -hmm. so huge. It's it's our biggest season yet. Mm -hmm. um, the not There's still eight episodes, but mm -hmm. the there's more pages in each. I think there's like 30 more pages this season than the previous season. Mm -hmm. um, so it's longer. The the sequences are bigger. The feeding of the 5,000. We literally had 5,000 people there. <laughs> um, it's just a, a massive, massive season. The most emotional, the most challenging. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, people are, are in for a wild ride. <laughs> well, I'm very excited. So are, so are the viewers of The Chosen and our viewers at 100 Huntley Street. I'm excited too. <laughs> yes. Jordan, as you're uh, on this journey, do you get people reaching out to you to say they identify with your life experience, your character? Yeah. Do you have a lot of uh, people? That is, yeah, I, I have, uh, you know, playing little James on The Chosen has been, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, one of the, the things about playing little James on The Chosen has uh, been so, so neat having these, you know, fans reach out that also have disabilities mm -hmm. that have connected with him and felt represented on screen because... 
uh, in in pop culture, you know, there there isn't always accurate representation of of disabilities. Usually, it's an able-bodied actor playing someone with a disability. Um, and the chosen, what makes it so unique is that they found an actor that had a disability that they liked for the role. And they said, you know what, let's make that part of the character. Um, and I think more and more productions should do that and are starting to, thankfully. But yeah, I've had so many incredible interactions with fans that have uh, you know, felt seen and represented. And the more that uh, I've opened up and been vulnerable, mm -hmm. the more it's allowed them to do the same. And I think that's what you know, life is all about is, is allowing ourselves to be vulnerable and, and create these meaningful and deep connections with others. Yes. And uh, I'm so grateful that The Chosen has given me that opportunity. Well, and I'm so grateful that you have taken in Jordan. So many viewers oh, are you. as well. Jordan, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. I appreciate it.